Hi, I'm Shauna Lee, and today I have a thread up mystery DIY denim box haul for you guys. This one is a 30 pound box, which I'm super excited about because I've been wanting to stock up on denim, and sometimes it's just it's intimidating looking at that section, and it's just like I don't know, it's crowded and yeah. So I wanted to try out this box and see what I ended up thinking of it. I have two separate boxes here. I'm guessing 15 pounds per box, but I'm super excited to go through it all and see what I get. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there. All of this is going to be for reselling on my Poshmark closet, which will be linked down below. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I'll have everything posted. And if you happen to see something you're interested in, hopefully it'll be in my closet. But otherwise, let's get into the haul. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this and like this video if you enjoy it. So first off, on the top of this box, this is Denizen uh, from Levi's. And I don't pick up denim, which is why I'm like starting this just so I can learn about denim and what brands sell well and stuff. And I kind of have an idea of what sells well. I know Levi's can be good, but I don't know what specific types of Levi's. So I'm sorry. I personally don't know what is worth the money, what isn't worth the money, but I know style is very important. So more interesting jeans and more interesting styles and newer styles are definitely going to be the better ones. But yes, this is Denizen from Levi's and they're like a medium wash denim jean. There's like some fading, which I'm sure is intentional. Um, they kind of have like a straight leg end to them. Let's see if there's a specific name in here. Um, this is Curvy Slim. I'm not sure how Levi's does their sizing. On this tag, I'm seeing 14S, W32, and L30. So uh, I don't know if that's waist 32 and then length 30. I'm not sure how they do their sizing. I'll have to do some research and see, but yeah. pretty cute. They're definitely more of a basic jean though. This is also that denizen from Levi's except it's in a darker wash. Um, I actually, I prefer the darker wash to be honest, especially with that fading. That's really cute. Um, these are modern slim. Maybe these were 14 short and these were 14 long. I don't know, but <laughs> um, I'm used to just seeing the numbers but it looks like on here it's W32L34. So um, hopefully I'm not looking too dumb for you guys, but <laughs> this is a learning process for me. These look like they're just a pair of shorts. I'm guessing high-waisted shorts just based on how much fabric there is towards the top. These are ASOS Curve in a size 14 for US. These I think will be nice for when it gets warmer out and people start wearing shorts again. These are American Eagle Outfitters. I've heard that these are a good basic to have in your closet for anyone who is wanting jeans, I guess. Um, these are 14 regular this is the straight seven, straight 77. I'm guessing that's the style. Um, and they kind of have like a, an open leg towards the bottom. Okay, I recognize this brand. This is Hudson. And these are a camouflage jean, which is actually really cute. Um, I don't know how these will do just because I'm not sure if camouflage is really like uh, popular right now, but these are in a size 24 and this is the Colby Ankle Moto Skinny Cargo. So these are really cool. Plus they have like a whole bunch of pockets and stuff since they are cargo pants. I really like these. I wish they were my size, but they are tiny. These are Joe's Jeans. 
Um, they look really small. <laughs> They're more of a lighter wash. They look like they're just a skinny jean. Let's see if I can find. These are high rise leggings. So they are high rise, which is good because I know high rise is definitely more of a popular style. And they are a 26. So these are really cute. These are page denim. And. They are in a size 32, and they have this double button thing going on. They have a super wide leg. But it says Hidden Hills. I'm not sure. I'm assuming that is the style. Um, I've only bought Paige like twice, and I haven't had as much luck with them. So we will see how these do. I do like that they're a darker wash though. These are definitely kids. <laughs> these are tiny. Um, this is Genuine Kids from Oak Oshkosh um, in a 4T and they're like a jogger style. Um, I don't really know much about kids brands. Um, I will sell kids um, sometimes just because my sister is a kid and sometimes I'll just take stuff that uh, she has grown out of that I think is cute. So um, I'll have to research and see what these are worth. This is kind of unique. There's some unique like sewing and stuff going on on these. A lot of cross type stuff. There's like some more cross stuff down there. <laughs> I kind of like that though. That's like really cute. Um, these... Oh, that's unique too. There's like a piece of fabric right there that's just kind of like hanging out. Huh. These are definitely interesting. Apparently these are made in Australia. Like it's K Subi, I think. That's what I'm seeing on the pocket there. These are another pair of American Eagle jeans. They are a darker wash too with some fading. Um, this is a super stretch skinny in a size 12 and it is short, a short leg. But these are super adorable. These are a light wash. What are these? Um, these are a Banana Republic size 30 flares and they are definitely flares <laughs> huge but yeah these are pretty cute though to be honest these look high-waisted too yeah these have got to be high-waisted although I don't, think, I don't know I, I'm not very good with like proportioning like based on sizing so for a size 30 they might not be high-waisted not sure. This is camo-y. What are these? Um, these are broken in straight khakis by Gap. And what size are these? Six. There's like a six in the middle there, so I'm assuming that's the size. But yes, these are camo khaki type pants from Gap. These, I've never heard of this brand. Blue Genius, like Genius, but they added in like Jean instead of like normal spelling of Genius. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. <laughs> but these are more of a, they almost look like a boot cut to be honest. They're not quite flare, but Pretty sure the boot cut. This is a jacket. This is Just USA. It's the brand there. I've never heard of that brand. And it's like a light wash denim crop jacket. Um, we'll see how this does. I think oversized denim jackets do a little bit better, but this does kind of have like a distressed look to it. So maybe that'll help it a little bit. These are the last pair of jeans out of this particular box. 
And these are Johnny B 26 regular skinny jeans. And they're more of a jegging material. They're not quite like jean jean. Let's pull these out because these don't, these look like mom jeans, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Um, these are Faded Glory, which I'm pretty sure is a Walmart brand. Not sure, but pretty positive they're a Walmart brand. So I'd say these, mm, these are definitely a flop if I can't get this out. But these have like a bunch of staining on them. I mean, they're cute shorts, but not with staining. Um, what even are these? These are Puella. Um, I'll have to look that brand up and see if it's even worth trying to get the stains out. If it is worth it, then I'll try. A <laughs> pair of full length jeans. They kind of, I think, pretty sure these are skinny jeans. This is Jeans Colony, size 16. But. These, these feel like a cheaper jean material compared to these other ones that I've been pulling out. So this these might be from like a place like Rue 21 or something. Because I know I used to always buy jeans at Rue 21 and they kind of felt like this. But we'll see. I'll look up the brand and find out what they're worth. These are American Eagle Outfitters. Super stretch, skinny in a size 6. These are some Levi's. Um, this is the 535 Super Skinny in a size 28. There is some distressing on there, which is always cute. These are black, whatever they are. Um, this is from Gap. Uh, 31, 12, always skinny, black jeans. These are a pair of Levi shorts and Levi's jeans, genuinely crafted, size one. So those are pretty cute. There's a bit of Distressing on the pocket and kind of all over the place, which I'm sure is purposeful. This is a good plus size brand. I'm not sure if they carry like non plus size items, but all the items that I found from this brand has been plus sized. Um, this is Torrid um, 20T Slim Boot Jeans. These are super heavy, but they have like three buttons on the front of it. There's some distressing on there and they are a boot cut jean. So these I think will be really nice to put in my closet. These are Aeropostale 5 slash 6 shorts and there's some cute patchwork on there. These are gray, whatever they are. I've never heard of this. Um, S, S, S Demir in a size large. Not sure. Um, they're more of a stretchy jean. They are skinny. Um, the top looks kind of stretched out though so I'm not sure if I'll try to resell these I suppose it depends on the value of the jeans but like I said they are stretched out so if I do sell them it will be at a discounted price so these are by GP jeans right or is it CP I think it's CP jeans but they are a pair of longer shorts, size five. Yeah, it looks like CP jeans, but they are in a size five. These are also some longer shorts and they are by Divine Rights of Denim. 
These are Old Navy denim low rise boot cut, which I don't know if that's gonna do well because low rise um, is not popular right now. So we'll see how these do, but we will see. This is a top. It's like a little like tank bralette style type top with some like cute embellishments on it. Um, this is Dream Out Loud by Selena Gomez in a size medium. And honestly, if this isn't really worth anything, I'm gonna keep it for myself because it's really cute. I mean, this is adorable. <laughs> so these are just a pair of Union Bay khaki short things in size zero. I am not a big fan of these. I I don't know. I don't know if it's the brown or what. Um, or maybe they just feel old-fashioned, not in style. This is Lux, and it's a size 1. A pair of, like, longer, short-type things. Like Bermudas, I guess. These are some dark wash, skinny jeans... Um, this I believe is Victoria's Secret. Yeah, Victoria's Secret, size 4. I believe the style is Siren. Not sure how Victoria's Secret is with jeans. I've never bought jeans from there before or sold jeans from there. So we will see. These are Old Navy regular jeans. And it's 34 times 30. It's a light wash. Looks like there is... Some flaws on the back, which I know can happen to jeans as they age, but there's like two holes right next to the pockets and one right in the middle. So I'm not sure if I'll even try to resell these because I know that is not fun. So these might just be a damage type item. That is it for all of the denim, but I'm going to add in some retail arbitrage real quick literally just two items that I got from TJ Maxx but I'm really excited to show you show you guys and I can't wait so I'm gonna show you guys now so this first item is from Wild Fox and it is a new tag wine in my cup plus my pup crop sweater top and I thought this was so adorable I could not pass this up it was a really good price so I'm, and it's in a size small, so I'm going to be putting this up in my Poshmark shop. Super excited about this. And I'm also very excited about this. This is a free people cardigan. New with tags, retailed for $148. It's a size large. Let me find the top of it. Try not to snag it. But it is a really nice oversized cardigan that buttons up and it's like super cozy and I'm just, I'm excited to get this up in my shop. Hopefully it does well. Um, like I said, I'm experimenting with retail arbitrage and it's nice because there's like exposed sewing and stuff and um... It's like it was sewn inside out, but that's just the style of it, which is why, I, I don't know, Free People does fun stuff like that. But it is in the color Brick Red Heather. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoy uh, shopping for stuff to resell. I definitely have enough stuff right now to be able to be good for a while. So um, yeah, I do have another haul coming up because I have some other stuff that I'm still waiting on. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the denim haul. Um, do you think the thread up denim is worth it? And if you've gotten it before, what good finds did you have in yours? Um, do you have any tips, tricks, etc.? So definitely like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you like videos like this and other haul videos, food videos, story time videos, more videos like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!